This video I'm making right now is not something I planned on making. This is a spur of the moment decision. I'm currently heading to a location that I've been to numerous times and that you've seen on my channel a few times, including that place right there. If you recognize that, you definitely have an idea where we are. I'm also at the moment trying to dodge thunderstorms that are surrounding the area. There's thunder in the distance, so it's not favorable conditions, but I wanted to get this done sooner than later. That thunder in the distance doesn't sound good. The reason I'm heading out here in such a hurry and doing this spontaneously is because after seeing the pictures and details online from just recently, I almost couldn't believe what I was looking at. I'm like, there's no way this could be possible. I have to see this for myself, and that's what I'm doing today. A place I'm so familiar with, I've never ever seen it like this. So if you want to find out where I'm going and what we're going to see, all you need to do is come along with me. And while we're here really quick, just give you a quick look in here. This is an old pump valve house. It is kind of hollowed out. This big wooden framing in here. A corrugated tin roof with holes in it. And just a dirt floor. Not really much to see. There's some fire rings in here. Some graffiti. I guess it's a decent place for shelter if need be. But this is not why we're here. Just something to see along the way. Now typically in the past, if I walked to this location, it would take me at least 30 minutes, if not longer. But using the e-bike, we're gonna get there in just a few minutes. Now normally, when I get to this location where I'm at now, it's usually pretty loud, like a white noise sound. That confirms that the pictures and details I saw online are indeed accurate. And we're almost there, and you'll finally see what we're talking about, if you don't already know. Well, this took a surprising twist. The picture I saw, this was bone dry. We are here at the reservoir. You guys, if you've seen my previous videos from one to two years ago, you definitely recognize this place. But it is nearly, well, I wouldn't say unrecognizable. There's more water here than I thought there was gonna be. But I saw pictures from about a week or two ago where there was just maybe a quarter of the water that's here today. The spillway is dry for the most part. There's no water going over it. It's discharging out that pipe, which is, <clears throat> connected over there somewhere the inlet oh and actually it looks like the I think there was a valve house there I'll have to check my previous footage let me roll a clip right now showing you what this looks like normally and then we'll come back to present day I don't think you hear me that is intimidating standing where I am I'm a little nervous, even though I'm not going to fall, just the fear of like being pushed, you would die going over that. It's, that's a far drop and it's not deep, it's filled with rocks, but that is so incredible. And here's a look, gotta go back to wide angle, looking upwards. Yeah, it looks uh, quite a bit different from that footage. That was full to the brim, water spilling over. But it looks really neat now, all exposed and dry of water. It's a really impressive sight. And I do have some information I'm going to share with you. Nothing set in stone, just rumored and speculation of what is going on here. And... We'll see if that matches up with what you guys think as well, based on what you see here from the present footage to the past footage of when this was full. So as mentioned, I learned about the changing of the water level basically being drained on a photo group I belong to on Facebook. People have been here, shared photos, and there's a lot of speculation in the comments about what happened. A lot of people are saying, oh, it's only low or dry because of the lack of rain. We did have a dry spell for a good period of time, but we've had longer dry spells in the past. 
and I've been through past this reservoir probably over a dozen times in the last three to four years. I never seen it dry, never seen it below the spillway. Me personally, I don't think this is like this because of lack of rain. This is intentionally dropped for probably dam remediation. If I do remember correctly, there was a pump or valve house there where that foundation is. That looks like it has been dismantled, deconstructed, and they may be doing work to the spillway itself. So I think this is intentionally lowered. Unfortunately, I just didn't get here soon enough. I don't know if it's raising back up because they're maybe slowly refilling it, or if it's from recent rains, I don't know. Unfortunately, my plan was to walk out there and show you what it's like to be exploring inside a drained reservoir. We can't do that. What we could do though, is go down near the shoreline get some pictures near the spillway and at least document what we can from the ground. And as long as the weather cooperates, cause it is thundering in the distance, I am gonna put up Jayhawk in the air, get some footage of still photos showing what this looks like because it's a rather unusual site. Typically modern reservoirs, actively used reservoirs, don't get drained unless it's for a specific purpose, whether it's being dismantled and decommissioned or if it's gonna be for repair work or if there's an accident where something springs a leak, so to speak. But regardless, I want to hear your thoughts as to why you think the levels are lower. And we'll see maybe if someone has any information pertaining to if this is done regularly with other reservoirs. Do they do routine maintenance every so, so often or every so many years? That I don't know. But enough of me chatting. Let's get a closer look at it. Leaving the bike up there. I'm definitely the only one here today. No need to lock it up. I'm not going that far either. But this is just a peek through the vegetation here. And normally, water would be right there. And just like that, we're at the spillway's edge. The water is really cloudy, murky. It's a little collection area of just trash and algae it looks like now typically you could see the water line where it's dry meets the green that's actually a railroad track right there too laying in the water so this is down based on that obviously it's not vertical it's at a slant I would say probably 12 to 15 feet give or take and that's basically all it's needed to bring it down below the spillway here and that's where we were standing on top of just a few moments ago now since this is from my understanding an active reservoir I'm not gonna go exploring over here <clears throat> although I'd love to I'm not gonna do it with myself I'm going to do it with the drone. <laughs> Airspace is legal and we'll be able to get some closer shots of what looks like to be that deconstructed valve house over there. And we'll get some shots of the spillway and just give you a good visual of this area and the back of the lake. And I'm going to do that sooner than later because there is, as mentioned, thunder in the distance. So right now I want you guys to sit back, relax and enjoy the video montage from the sky.
We're back here at, I guess you could consider the source of the reservoir or what's at least feeding into it. This is a big beached area, which I believe is normally underwater if I'm not mistaken, or at least close to the surface, but it is flowing in. And I uh, figure we just explore the backside of it a little bit since we've seen up there near the spillway. This is rather interesting here. So what we're looking at, besides this little pounding of water, is those barrel-shaped items. That looks like a pipe system. And I'm wondering where that is coming from. So it is beneath the surface normally, and it has, appears to be concrete around it to protect it. Yeah, so right here you can see the pipe itself. I'm actually standing on it right now. But it has concrete protectors. If you guys happen to know what you think the source of this would be, not the source, I'm sorry, the uh, reason for it, let me know because this is far behind the reservoir. You know, it's up there probably at least 100 yards, if not longer. And I think when I was flying the drone, I actually saw this same thing over there on the shoreline, which I'll maybe try to get confirmation of. It's nice, really clean water though, it's crystal clear. I may try to get you some underwater footage before I leave here. That way we can see above and beneath the surface. And it's really oxygenated right there, all the bubbles. Glad I wore the right shoes today too. I had an idea I might be getting wet. These places, to some people, may be boring. You know, like, oh, you're just walking in a lower lake reservoir. Big deal. It's like a whole nother landscape though. And you have a combination of different things here. You have the lush green foliage surrounding you. You have fresh flowing water. You have this beached landscape here. You got the really neat looking structures down there. So there is a lot to see in just one area. And it's hard not to really appreciate it. But I'm going to walk around here, see if I can discover anything else. I may try to get over there and give you some visuals because... Again, I think this pipe might be over there as well. This stuff is really soft though. It is actually rather hard to ride the bike in. The bike's doing it, but it's really hard on the motor because it's sinking in and having to work harder. So I'm gonna leave the bike here and just walk around. But that made it so much easier to get down here. Coming further back here, it's almost a pathway here. I wonder if it's a game trail. I can actually see an ATV tire there. Someone lost their tire. Oh, okay, so I'm seeing multiple sources. The water is coming down, which we saw underneath the trestle. There's also a little, maybe an underground spring coming out right there as well. I do see it flowing out beneath the foliage, so it could be either coming from up there, or that might be an underground spring. Regardless of the water is super clear, unlike what we saw up there where it's brown and cloudy and just looks nasty. Something is drawing me over here. I'm hearing rushing water. I don't know where it's coming from. I do see what I have dubbed nature's corn dogs. So it's a little swampy area, but I do hear rushing water. I want to see where that's coming from. Oh, no way. There's a waterfall back there. I think it's a waterfall. It's either that or an underground spring shooting up. I, yeah, I think I need to get over there and investigate that. This is definitely something, I should say this area is definitely underwater normally. A couple high spots, but especially over here, this is lake bed. And this is typically underwater. So where we're walking right now, we could basically say we're walking 
in the bottom of a lake. It's rather muddy over here too. So you can see the, oh, what the heck was that? You can see the drop off here. This is underwater most times. Drier up there obviously, but this is the true lake bed. And the water line would be up near the tree line there. So <clears throat> essentially, at least probably up to my waist, I'd be underwater right now. Water is clean back here, closer up there, it's nasty. You can see some big rocks over there too with clear cut water lines as well. I actually may try to go back and get the bike. <clears throat> we'll explore over here a little bit and see if we can find that pipe over there. But more specifically, more importantly, I want to check out that water source over there. And just like that, here we are. Should have brought the bike to begin with. <clears throat> it is really soft over here as there is still water flowing through. But I'm gonna keep you guys rolling so you can see what I see because this is my first time checking this out. I also have to be very vigilant of snakes here. That looks dark and nasty. I'm gonna go around that instead of walking through it. I have to say though, it's uh, really lush over here and healthy. There's some natural wildflowers growing there. I think I can never tell the difference between mountain laurel or rhododendron. I wanna say mountain laurel, correct me if I'm wrong, but there is some type of unique water source over here. And it's probably not visible during most times or I should say easily access accessible. What do we have here? This appears to be like an underground spring and a man-made wall right there. Now the easiest way is just to get your feet wet. This is like a, someone's dream if they're stuck in the desert and they come across an oasis. This is what they'd want to find. Now there is a pipe up here, I believe. So it might be coming out of there. I'm getting wet from here. Huh, I don't know what the heck this is. Cold water, I'll tell you that. Ugh, okay. Whew. All right, yeah, this is definitely altered. This is intentional. This is not a underground spring, so to speak. This looks like it's altered recently. This is cleared away. The wall is missing here. There's another pipe there, some cinder blocks. The stone stacked wall is missing here. The pipe right there. I truly don't know the reason for this. I'm going to show you the information here. It's coming out pretty good for us. There was a jug right there, too. Full of water. Yeah, this is interesting. I know there's a rail line up here. The old Erie line ran up here. But this has me perplexed. Get the feet cleaned off. It's a good sized wall too. It goes for as long as I could see. And it's probably 10 to 12 feet high. I'm guessing it's just a retaining wall for the rail line. That's my assumption. All 
All right, back to the bike. Further down we go. Somebody's been down here having some fun. There's some fireworks, there's some beer cans. This is normally underwater, so this is rather unique that we're riding our bike right here on the exposed lake bed. No vegetation here because it's normally underwater. This is where the water starts looking pretty nasty. It's brown and just not pleasant looking. But as I was explaining earlier, here's the water line. Clear to fine line right there. So from back here, it's down maybe six to eight feet. And clear across is where I was on top of that little platform and just below it when I was flying the drone. So just put things into perspective as to where we are in reference. But we did fly over all this. And I guess this is partially what I was hoping for to be able to walk on an exposed lake bed, but it does get relatively deep here. It goes down at a steep angle. I can't see more than maybe a foot or two in the water. It's just cloudy and murky. But then it looks like a shallow is out there. So maybe it's just a pocket right here. Regardless, this is a really neat area and just another example of a water feature that I'm able to check out and show you before and after. Tons of wildlife. And I'd imagine probably some decent fishing, especially now all the fish are probably contained if they didn't get sucked through that piper chamber down there. I would like to mention too that I stated earlier that this was drained unexpectedly. Well, kinda. I'm certain that this was drained purposely. It didn't just happen overnight all of a sudden with no one's knowledge. It's unexpected to me that this took place. So when I say drained unexpectedly, it means I didn't expect this. I didn't see this coming. I've never seen it like this ever. So it's unexpected that this took place, but it didn't just happen by chance of luck. This was purposely and intently done. As promised, here's your underwater footage. Enjoy.
So what was your favorite area? Was it the spillway? The steps going down? Was it the building? Those little castle-like metal doors that are on the bottom of them? Was it behind this? The body of water? Or was it what you saw in the distance? Yes, you did see correctly, the abandoned train trestle where I faced my fears, which you may or may not see in an upcoming video. I can't confirm or deny that I might be heading there next. With that being said, if you do like these videos of especially reservoirs, more specifically ones that are transformed, well, I do have one that I've been meaning to film since the beginning of this year, but I can't go there yet because it's actively being decommissioned. They're taking away the spillway, any structures, they're turning it back into a natural resource, just a natural stream waterway, and they're going to let nature reclaim the area. I guess it's no longer being utilized as a reservoir, but it was a really popular swimming hole. I think it was called Blue Bottoms. Locals watching may recognize that name. I was never there in person, so I don't know what it looks like beforehand other than a few pictures, but I did get some details as to when it was last inspected and the transformation of it taking place. So once work is completed there, which is supposed to be, I guess, sometime this summer, we will be heading there to check it out and see what it looks like post-transformation, turning it into a more of a natural resource area. Anyways, guys, I'd love to hear your thoughts on today's video. And now blue skies are coming out. <laughs> Not only the drone footage that you saw, what you enjoy the most, but what you think is the reason that this is lowered and dropped. I still think it's for remediation. I guess it's time to head back on the bike and go to another location. Can't imagine where I'm going. But if you want to find out, make sure you stay tuned to the channel. If you're new, subscribe if you like this type of video. And check my playlist down below. I do film a variety of content, everything from exploring to nature to Google Maps finds to even abandoned stuff. So feel free to browse around the channel and I'm sure you'll find something that you like. Anyways, thanks for joining me for this adventure. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.